Okay, so what does all of this mean on a larger level? And what I think is up is that this is where the complexity of human brains and human behaviors come from, these emergent properties. And this is now a generation or two into people thinking about this stuff. And it is incredibly hard to think about. And most of the work I do and my peers do is reductive stuff that's very limited. And like, I don't understand how to think about it in this other way. And the odds are you guys are not going to be good enough at it either. You're good enough that you were a first generation growing up that knows if you want to find out if you're going to like a movie or not, you don't need to have somebody with expertise and a label on their forehead and a blueprint and top down. You don't need critics anymore. You have bottom up systems. You guys are a first generation growing up thinking in that way. What's a consequence of that? You're beginning to get better at this stuff. And my guess is it's not until like your grandkids that you're going to have people thinking so much in emergent systems that we're finally going to be able to figure out what the brain is doing. And where you see there is all sorts of things that can happen. If there was more bottom-up communication in the trenches in World War I, they would have stopped the war. All these emergent things bottom up. We've now had revolutions when uh, Marcos was overthrown in the Philippines back when. That was basically bloodless. When the Czech Revolution occurred, it was called the Velvet Revolution because there was no violence. All they had to do was get enough people in the town square in the capital and paralyze the country, and they took it over. I will predict that within our lifetime, there is going to be a revolution in some country at some point where nobody leaves their living rooms. All they do is do something online with some emergent bottom-up thing, and they collapse the government and do it in, and no one will have to leave their living room because it will be all emergent things coming up. The final couple of points here. First one is all that chaotic, strange attractor stuff. All of us spend a lot of time thinking about how we're not quite up to the ideal this or not. We're not at the ideal appearance. We're not at the ideal intelligence. We're not at the ideal choice of perfumes. We're not at the ideal anything. What strange attractors and chaos shows you is the notion that there is an ideal, that there's an essentialist, optimal, whatever, is a myth. We are all deviating from the optimum because the optima is just an emergent imaginary thing. The other final point is something that you guys are going to be much better at than any previous generation, which if you grow up thinking, when I want to find out if a movie is good or not, I do bottom-up stuff, you are growing up with a mindset that you don't need blueprints. You don't need top-down blueprints. And in, implicit in that, when you look at how you can get complex, adaptive, optimized systems without blueprints, is the fact that if you don't need blueprints, you don't need somebody who makes the blueprints. And it will be a lot easier to comprehend that as being the case. You don't have to have a source of top-down instruction if you don't need a blueprint.